good morning and welcome back to our channel <laughs> Phuket the usual place Kata Beach <laughs> I was gonna start this video somewhere else but this is just where I start my day so you know what I mean nice new pavement well I say nice new pavement <laughs> let's have a look at the beach Kata Beach overcast Still beautiful, not so busy, it's only 7am. You might have clicked on this video because of the title, low season, cancelled. <laughs> and uh, well, yeah, bold statement to make when low season is here. Shut that bike up. Yeah, definitely low season has arrived. We can give you a first-hand experience because of our we have a business here so we kind of know <laughs> uh, yeah it's only just started though it's just simmering down customers coming in waves but I believe this low season could be very different high season was a shock for everybody except for me I predicted it was gonna be a boom uh, but I let other people convince me it wasn't and it wasn't for the reasons that I thought so, you know, one country saved the high season. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I think later on, low season could be canceled in 2023. And we're gonna give you an update, a few things happening now. We're moving home. We're doubling down on our place and maybe an expansion. Let's take a walk. You also have this beautiful park here, just at the Cata Beach. Well maintained, look. Very nice. Right, beach is right here. And if you usually come here, Cata Beach, and if you come lately, some days, and think, where are the street vendors? Well, they've been told they're only allowed to be here four days a week from now on. Bit of a shame, you know. Street vendors are part of Thailand, it's what everyone loves. Not everyone, you know, some people are scared to eat there and stuff like that, but, you know, coconuts and juice right next to the beach. I think that's one of the reasons people like Kata Beach. You can just walk off the beach straight to your street vendor and get what you like, your little refreshments throughout the day. Caron Beach is a bit different. The vendors are pretty far away. Well, yeah, if you go in the middle of the beach, everything's far away. But hey, they that make the rules. New pavement all the way along here. Not so desirable to the eye. But there you go. Some beautiful colours in the ocean this morning. Looks marvellous. <laughs> yeah, still not that quiet yet, but customers are coming like the waves pretty steady at the moment but yeah I'm just speaking to my friend up there and surf season's coming ladies and gentlemen surf season in Phuket is coming and I will make a video on this soon he said next week maybe uh, you get some really good waves here for any budding surfers but a little go not easy yeah, but to be honest, as of late, I've been kind of lazy. Kind of, not bad lazy, like chilled lazy. Just relaxing. I'll show you in this video where, where you'll usually find me during the day, here, chilling in my shop. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and in the last video, uh, I, yeah, why we love living here, I said, I didn't mention you know, the lifestyle, the lifestyle much, you know, we, the lifestyle that we made for ourselves. Having a little business, not easy to begin, but yeah, you know, living right next to your job and just being able to stay here. The lifestyle, but we'll show you more of that later. Good morning, happy people. 
Yeah, look, there are many places along Catter Beach that you can get surf lessons. People starting now. Look. Oh, I think this is the dog that waits around. No, no. There's one dog that waits around on the beach here and he wants to get on people's board and go out into the water. He's a bit upset, look. Hey, I want my go. Let me in. <laughs> Go on boys, head on there. Oh, it's a beautiful colour. We haven't had, just started to rain little bits now. Haven't had rain for months. And this place has been, Jesus. So, sorry, I shouldn't use that word. Some people don't like it. God damn, this place has been so hot. I think record temperatures in Thailand and surrounding countries. Laos and, and Myanmar and Indonesia, record temperatures, dangerous temperatures. It's been so hot, but now, hey, we're probably going to welcome a bit of wet season. Cool, it's cooler. Yeah, but even though they can't stay at that other end of the beach every day, they'll be here at the uh, north end of the beach every day still. So that's good news. Tremendous. Sorry, I will be getting into the meat of this video soon. Just sharing a little bit of my morning walk with you here through Kata and Karan. Uh, another thing I'm going to tell you more about, I'll get Maybelle to tell you the story actually. Maybelle will be in this video, holy shit. <laughs> uh, near miss. The other day, just through coming out of Batong, we had a collision. Pretty in intense collision with a motorbiker that was way, way over the limit and out of control. Uh, open already. And yeah, yeah, it could have been, it could have been very bad, but luckily not so bad for him and our car. But yeah, more concerned about people's lives. And we'll warn you about yeah the dangers here because could have ended pretty badly. I'll tell you more of that later. Nice feeling in the air today. Fresh. The weather's changing. Oh god damn, what has happened here? Some mongrel has ripped our kids love these. This could be a clue. Look at the pole, Prince. God damn. <laughs> okay, well, this is where you'll usually find me, chilling out in front of our shop, right next to the entrance. But only come and find me if you're gonna say, hello, how are you? <laughs> Yeah, this is my little seating area here because I've got the fan behind me and the nice sounds of nature. So, let's tell you, well, let's maybe I'll tell you about the crash and then I'll tell you about the expansion plans. But, yeah, a lot of people say you shouldn't tell people your plans, but this is kind of what our channel is about, right? Telling you what we're going to do and if it's going to work. Okay. Good morning, Maybell. Good morning. Maybell is going to tell us about the crash. <laughs> what happened? So, the, the story was we, we was going to Kamala Beach and then yeah. uh, go to Batong Beach and then Kalim Beach. So we saw this guy drive on the road, like swing all over the road. And yeah, we saying like, this guy must be drunk. And then we took over him. Yeah, we gone past him and thought, I thought he's miles behind us now. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Then we, then we, turn, we turn the corner and he just slammed straight into the back of the door, back door, didn't he? He should come from nowhere. And like, uh, yeah, slid down the side of the car. I was thinking, you know, he could have ended up under the wheels. We pulled, but no. yeah, we pulled over, you know, 
here in Thailand, I think you're meant to stop exactly where the accident is and not move. I see a lot of people doing that, but then you no, hold up the, the yeah, you hold up the whole road. But me, I've I've learned in my head to keep it clear. We go back. We're helping him up, and you know you could tell he's drunk. He's kind of cooperating to begin, and then he was just trying to get away. He <laughs> said, so "You drove into me." Yeah, yeah. I was like, "You drove into us." Yeah. You could tell he was drunk, and then mad lady here was going crazy and <laughs> holding on to his bike while he was trying to drive away so I was like just let him go and we'll take his picture I don't want him to go him, report him to the police so uh, we, we were the fourth person he collided with yeah. on that day so yeah. and the guy's lucky to be alive and after that he, he hit another taxi yeah he crashed again after that yeah. we don't know have they got him yet we don't know Nobody oh and he stole the bike it. as well yeah so, can so. be could be I thought that's what he said that's what the policeman said. The policeman thinks yeah, he took someone to else's bike. But yeah, that was our little bit of excitement. And be careful on the roads here, guys, because now just another death reported the other day. 31-year-old oh, yeah. Polish girl. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's sad. Got to be careful. You're, you're not invincible. You know, if you hit a car, well, apparently this was with a lorry. You know, you've got to be careful on them bikes. They can't even see you probably in a lorry. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Let's talk about the expansion plans here. Oh yes, I'm gonna tell you some good news. Okay, expansion plans. One other thing that's happened lately is we have a new sign. Bigger sign. Huge sign. So this is our new sign. Awesome. Check it out. There goes Puppy Garden, Cafe Garden. There's a busy road here that we're just off Patak Road from Shalong into Kata and Karan. Yeah, we're minutes from Kata. So yeah, you people are able to find us now. And people driving past will see the sign. Maybell's Coffee Garden, Cafe, Restaurant, Bar. So yeah, no excuses guys, come and find us big old sign there soy pluck J it's gonna light up at night because the future plans are to open by October let's say hopefully 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week that's the that's the goal and the expansion plan is here hopefully all these insects it's quite a nice setting here with the you know nature Here behind us, the lean-to there is a, is a toilet and bathroom. We're going to move that to the middle and we're going to expand here out the side. So making it a lot bigger. Get more room in the kitchen, make the kitchen bigger and make the front bigger. We've got a price already, haven't we? We've got a price and happy with the price. We now have five staff. The plan is knock through this wall, make it bigger. Morning, Jude. <laughs> Not through there, make it bigger. We can clear this walkway. We're going to go into the bathroom here. Make this bigger and take the bathroom out. So basically, extend this lean to down the side of the building. That's the plan. Our bigger plans is to do with here. cafe, bar, restaurant. We have the cafe and restaurant, we don't have the bar, do we? Mm -hmm. So the reason for the expansion, the kitchen and the front of the shop, drink section is, during high season, we were so busy, we, we struggled a bit there, you know, we need more, we need probably three people in the kitchen and uh, drinks counter area where we do the smoothie bowls etc was just not enough room so that's why we're expanding and then the other goal is to be open longer you know during high season many people coming in the day we did well we've saved a bit of money up we don't want to spend it all obviously but then that's obviously the people that are finding us in high season the people find us from google maps and if they enjoy it in the day why won't they come back at night tranquil beautiful place to sit surrounded by nature when it's all lit up it's beautiful 
So yeah, we'll have a tranquil place for people to come and sit in the evening. The menu will change at 5 p.m. We'll have bottles of wine and hey, it'd be good to sell. Uh, it'd be good to have a bar area with a premium beer and Guinness on draft. <laughs> that would be good. Yeah, and that's the plans for expansion. What else was I going to say? Ah probably told you about the villas being built across the road here but nothing has happened look. They flattened it and it stayed like that for a while but yeah. So today is Friday. Yeah, Friday. Tuesday, Wednesday wasn't bad. Yesterday was busy. It's weird. Can't call it. So even though it's low season, yeah, still waves of people coming. Well look, who's this coming? Anybody recognise him? Mr. Sean King vlogging at Dare the Force. <laughs> good day, <laughs> hey. mate. Good day. Hey. Good morning. Okay. Come for a breakfast? Um, no, you, I've just done. I was going to say, you got some chicken there. <laughs> <laughs> you got, what happened? You've got some fried chicken. <laughs> the mango shake time, mate. All good? All good, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good. Slept well, lads. Slept mate. well, really. Slept well. I'll let the, the people know you're back in Phuket, yeah, on your channel. They don't know, but you can tell them. Really? Right. Okay, Sean's back. I've been telling people here anyway, Sean's back in town. And now he can sleep well in Phuket. I wonder why. I think it's something to do with the, all the flowers here. Not these flowers, buds. Well, we have a little bit of downtime in our restaurant. We're going to work on some new dishes for the menu, aren't we? And we're here at Cata Fresh Market. This is where we get our fruit from on a daily basis, don't we? Someone has to come shopping every day, collect some fresh ingredients. What are we working on today, my love? We have some new dishes. Uh, meatballs, meatballs pasta. and penny pasta in tomato sauce. This and rainbow salad. Rainbow quinoa salad yeah. with grilled salmon. This will be the daytime menu. In the evening, we're going for a more upmarket style, aren't we? Look, we have fresh uh, vegetables here daily. Tomatoes, should we get a couple of tomatoes? Broccoli. Ah, red cap, red. Hello, Swedekab. How are you? Papaya, we have enough for today. Thank you, thank you. Usually I always get papaya from here. Look at this, very fresh. Let's, see what, let's have a look at the fish in here. We've added sea bass to the menu, haven't we? Uh, I'm going to go for a special dish. I'm not telling you yet. I'll save it till I reveal the menu. <laughs> let's see if they have sea bass here. Eh? River shrimp. River shrimp. Let's see if they've got them here. Wonder if the prawn is any fresher from here. At the minute we get it from macro. You can tell the freshness by looking inside the head or the colour of the head. Octopus. Is that octopus? I don't know. <laughs> Ask him about the sea bass. Oh look. Oh look. Quick long one. I don't know what it is. I'm not a fisherman. Crab. That's not good on the menu. Yes, yeah, so you can get everything here. We, we, we do a lot of shopping at Macro. It's probably just easier. But... Oh, look. Different coloured sh shrimp here. Oh, you can go to Rawai. Pop it here. Look, there's some live fish here. One piece, 150 baht. Red talapa, I think that's called. Yeah, so that's uh, you don't have river shrimp. Okay, we came to buy some ingredients, but just so happens Maybell decided to eat something. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> what? Yeah. 
Yeah, what are these? These are called stinky beans, aren't they? Yeah. Thai stinky beans. Our new chef wants to put a dish on with these, but we're not sure, are we? Don't know how it'll go down. Stinky bean salad. Yeah, that's the fresh market here in Qatar. Before we leave, we have to get a special drink. We'll get one for everyone. My favorite coconut in the world. Roasted coconut. Roasted coconut. Maybe I might want some durian, stinky durian. Yeah, look. It's gonna have some. <laughs> I <can> smell it. <laughs> this is growing in our garden. Mango steam, I'll show you. Not ripe yet, it takes a long time to become ripe. This is where we get all our fruit from. Avocado, avocado every day. Sweaty cup. Oh yeah. Seven. Seven. Seven of these bad boys, roasted coconut. Absolutely delicious. Oh, durian for me, but I'm gonna get some for the staff. Huh? Get some for the staff. Let's give them a treat. Get a big one and share it. You have to treat the staff. Yeah, look, fresh fruit all around here. Dragon fruit. Yeah, so we, come, we have to come here on a daily basis. Used to. Not anymore. But we made you the supervisor. <laughs> Who does the daily shopping. That's good. It saves me a job. Hello. What are you buying? <laughs> How big is it? How much for the durian? 170 for 1 kg. Our is 3 kg. Holy moly. It's cheaper, it used to be 220 for per kg. Oh, it's gone down. How yeah. come? Low season price. Low season quality durian. <laughs> There's all the fruits you can get. Passion fruit, this is very nice. Dragon fruit, mango. What's that one again? Papaya. A good old watermelon. Lots of durian here. Mm, smells good. <laughs> None for me. Yeah. All for Maybell and the staff. Let's see if they all like it. Will they? Oh, coconut. Let's get the coconut. Okay. okay. So, today, Friday, almost to an end. It's been steady, but we have. We've had a productive day, haven't we, Mabel? Two m new dishes on the menu. Rainbow couscous, no, quinoa. Yeah. Rainbow quinoa salad with grilled salmon and meatball pasta in tomato sauce. This is my one. Homemade meatball. Homemade meatballs, <laughs> beef, not pork, <laughs> proper Italian tomato sauce. And if you like a bit of Parmesan, you don't do it. Let's try it first, without the parmesan. Come on. Good. Wow. How is the meat? It's good. I could maybe just cooked a bit more. Make the ball a bit firmer. Mm. Mm, I love the meat. Pasta al dente. Meatball. That's nice. I think mm, a bit more salt. But hey, anyone coming for dinner to eat that will say, hmm. Thank you very much. Absolutely delicious. What do you think? 
Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, this one looks looks the part. Yes, it's I mean. good, it's nice, I like it, but this is more my type of food here. Well done. I'm proud of you today. <laughs> so now I'm going to tell you, let me eat this first, fill my belly, and I'm going to tell you my prediction for low season, even though we're completely empty. No, there's one table here. Uh, you can tell it's low season, but I'm still optimistic, maybe. Okay, my low season prediction time. As I said in the beginning, I think low season could be very different this year in Thailand due to many factors, but obviously COVID being one of them. As we know, high season was a boom and we're now in May, January, February, March, April, May, June, I believe will be the lowest months. Then I predict there will be an early boom of high season, people coming earlier. Um, prices have been very high since COVID. Flights, hotels have gone crazy expensive. So a few months of quietness, I believe there'll be a lot of deals to be had and many people have not had a holiday in three, four years, maybe more. There's so many people out there who just really want to go on holiday. And I believe the, the COVID situation switched people's mind a little bit. It's like life is more for living rather than, yeah, staying at home and saving and saving. It's like, hey, when you tell people you can't have a holiday, they want a holiday. So that's my prediction. You can say you heard it here first. It might be BS. Hopefully I can edit out these insects. But that's why I love this area. We're surrounded by the nature, the jungle. Okay, so coming up, yeah, the next video will be soon. Expansion plans are happening. I need to get to work on YouTube. So you'll see a lot more of me. And we're moving house. We're probably gonna turn this place into an Airbnb. Yeah, lots happening. So, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you want to come and visit us, always our uh, location is in the description box. Um, see you here soon. Take care. Peace. Goodbye.